If you've been following me for the past couple months, you know where my stance is when it comes to AI and the replacement of humans in AI and how I do not believe that AI will diminish the fact that most of the things humans still need to be involved in. And how I've always said that the beautiful thing about AI is the ability to, to take a task and reduce the amount of time spent with the input from a human. And so when you do hear the world screaming that AI is going to replace everybody, I would say in, in some cases and in, in some industries that could be possible, but I'm against the grain when it comes to this whole AI automation and you know AI agencies, because ultimately AI is a buzzword and I get why people use it. And I understand how people could build their YouTube channels, you know, with all about AI. I've seen people sell software using the AI terminology when in fact it's not AI, it's just a software, uh, but I get it. It's a buzzword. It's cool. Do what you got to do. You, you do you, I'll do me. Right. But in some instances I am using it to make myself more valuable to my own company as well as helping others utilize it in a very simple way where simply just using chat GPT could cut down a lot of time. So in this video, I'm going to show you uh, what I'm using a uh, chat GPT for and how it could be utilized in your agency for yourself or maybe a, a VA or whomever. But ultimately the input is the most important aspect in you knowing exactly what you want to come out of it. So I'm going to jump in and I'm going to show you kind of live what I'm doing uh, with ChatGPT today for building an automation launch campaign that we're doing for Christmas special for uh, a bundle that we do for back-end courses, uh, back-end training courses. And while I was, you can see here, I was, I don't know if you could see that, you can see I'm trying to like time out these emails based on when I'm writing the emails and how much time is left until the cart opens and blah, blah, blah. And so I've done this, I do this every, every year around this time. And I do it a couple of times during the year. And this is this portion of it takes me a very long time. And as I was in the middle of doing this, I said to myself, like, why wouldn't you use ChatGPT to output what I need? Just explain it to ChatGPT. Say, hey, this is what I'm looking to do. Can you help me? And so I thought this was a very off the cuff video to do in kind of a raw video. So you can kind of watch this process unfold in front of your eyes. So let's jump on my computer and let me explain exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, essentially what I'm doing is, is I'm launching a package deal to my audience, not you guys in general, but uh, just to another audience that I have. And it's going to be a package deal of digital courses for the holiday season. And so what I wrote to chat GPT, I said, I'm launching a package deal of digital courses to my audience that opens up on 12, 20, 23 at 10 PM and closes at 12, 20, uh, 12, 31, 23 at midnight. I need to write emails pushing the course, but I need it to be to need it timed to be sent out. So you can, so can you help me time these emails by putting hours left reminders in the subject line? Ultimately, I, I want it. I wanted it to spit out emails with this is how much how many days are left this is how how, how uh, many times are left so this is the the schedule that it gave me now immediately when it spit it out I I was like wow like I wasn't expecting it to do such a good job the subject lines are okay and I'm going to share with you exactly what I'm going to do with that but this is a, a perfect starting point for this and so it's telling me at 10 a.m. the launch day. Uh, I should, you know, set, put this subject line launching today, exclusive digital course package available now, uh, which it would like, I would have to change this, right? 9 PM, just one hour left to open your digital course package awaits. Now the subjects are, are, I don't, I didn't give it enough input for the subjects to be fine, which is fine. I don't care. I cared about the timing of it. And then it tells me on 1221, nine days left on 1223, seven days. Left, like, this is exactly what I wanted exactly like this. Okay. Final countdown, 36 hours left. And so I originally was trying to time it on this piece of paper that I showed you before and my head started to hurt. And so this is a perfect example of like message marketing. You could get a client 
and your client Black Friday, Christmas special, New Year's special, like you, you could be so valuable to them without them even understanding how you've become so valuable so fast. Okay. And so here's my final countdown. This is exactly what I wanted. This is perfect. Okay. And then it gives me tips, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, wow, this is pretty good. I talked to chat GPT in a funny way for some reason. But anyway, I was like, that is pretty good. I have some other requests. I am building this in an automation. Okay. And let me show you this really quick. So here's my automation. I'm doing it in go high level. So this is utilizing go high level. If you don't have go high level, I don't know what you're using out there, but you should go down to the link and I'll give you a bunch of bonuses if you sign up under affiliate link. But anyway, so I'm building it out in here. So in order for this to work, I have to time these emails in a manner that will line up. So for example, if I added seven, 8,000 people to this automation and I hit at 2 p.m., I added them at 2 p.m., then my timing needs to be around perfect where it would say, okay, wait five hours, send another reminder at 7 p.m. And then I have to start calculating everything then how long do I have to wait, right? So now at 7 p.m., I have to, if I wanna send a cart is open at 10 p.m., so I gotta wait, now I gotta click a wait time here and wait three hours. And I'll show you guys examples of the past ones I've done. And so I would put three hours and then I would put that, right? And then I would have uh, wait, wait five hours, another email, and then wait three hours, cart open type of email. So I asked it, and, and by the way, let me show you really quick. Let me just save this. So if you take a look at another launch sequence we had here way, way back in the day, you'll see here that I have um, at not like 929, I added everybody to, I was going to add everybody to this launch sequence and I had to wait one minute and then I added everybody at like 929. Then I sent an email. Then, by the way, I sent an email with the wrong custom value. That was embarrassing. Then I was like trying to time it. I'm like, all right. So now I'm putting in here Thursday at 6.30 p.m. So that would be, let's see, 24 hours would be 9.30 p.m. minus three is 21. Now I'm trying to like time all this. I mean, it, it like, I every time I do this, I mess it up every single time. So I said to ChatGPT, I'm going to build this in an automation. I need it to delay the emails, but it's hard to know the amount of time. I need to delay in between each email. If my start time is right now, if I was to build this now, can you tell me how much wait time I need to wait in between these emails? And so it, it took about a minute to calculate. And so it said from launch to first email was 12 hours. So if I look up here, hold on, let me see what I, I didn't give it a start. Oh, here we go. So this is um, starting from your launch time at 10 a.m. So the launching of the automation, and then it wants me to wait 12 hours at 10 p.m. So from the launch to first email, it's saying 12 hours. Then from 10 p.m., the 10 a.m. is 12 hours, and then I'm gonna send another email, 30 email, 48 hours, 48 hours, 48 hours, 48 hours, 24 hours, 24 hours, eight hours, three hours, two hours. And so now it's easier to adjust this, okay? And I'm gonna go a little bit deeper into this. So if I said, okay, um, here's my reminder. And so now watch, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna say, can you adjust the starting, starting, uh, can you adjust the starting time? It's not gonna make any difference, but can you adjust the starting time of this launch for 3 p.m. Eastern today? Let's see if it'll recalculate this first sentence. So see how it's, it's analyzing. So while that's analyzing, I'm gonna grab this first reminder email. These are just gonna be reminder emails and I'm gonna go into my, my draft version. If I go over here and I throw in the subject, okay. This is, I'm not going to be using this, but I'm going to say reminder. Okay. I'm just going to save that. So if I'm going to be putting everybody into this workflow now, this wait hour would be, and I wanted it to go out at seven and then the start of it, it would be five hours and then three hours. And then this would be the launch one. So this would be email. Okay. So that's 10. And then chat GPT is now going to tell me. So here's, uh, so with the adjusted start time at 3 PM Eastern, here's the updated wait. So it would be seven hours instead of 12 hours, because this was assuming a 10 a.m. start time. So you see how you can, it, it could help you build this out. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to say uh, the headline, the email, the subject lines, can you adjust the subject lines to be uh, 
half the characters. Okay, so now it'll make it simpler. This allows me to basically kind of get the skeleton up, ready, ready to go. And then I can go in there and write my own emails. Now, I'm not going to use ChatGPT to, to write these emails because these are very going to be very personalized uh, emails because of the audience that I that is very tar <clears throat> targeted and I know that I know very well, I, you know, I'm most likely not going to use what they're suggesting, but it, it, it saved me, I would say at least an hour of time to set this up because this is usually the worst part about this. And I may come in here and say, Hey, um, you know, chat GPT, can you write me uh, an email and give them like a whole bunch of information to help me create the emails. But I've done, been doing this for so long that I, I could probably do it faster. So that is, I wanted to kind of give you an over the shoulder look of kind of my day to day type thing where, you know, I'm creating campaigns and I'm creating automations and how I'm utilizing chat GPT. And so I wanted to kind of give you an over the shoulder look off the cuff of me, essentially how I run my day to day business. You know, I have tasks to do lists of things to do that I write out the night before, before I leave my office. And then I start checking them off the next day. This was one of them was build the skeleton uh, for the launch and how I'm utilizing. I, I don't want to say like AI completely. I'm just utilizing chat GPT for speed and efficiency. And if I look at my list here, this, that's probably the only thing that I will need to do using ChatGPT today. Yeah, that's about the only thing that I need to do. And so the agency side of this, I mean, you could utilize this for so many things that you could throw in, hey, I, I want to send follow-up emails to somebody who filled out a invoice or filled out a or got sent a an estimate for a plumbing job and I want to follow up with them for the next 10 days. Can you help me create those emails? Here's the name their their company name and my name is so and so. Please, please do it. And it would do it very easily. And so when it comes to sp speed implementation and removing the, uh, the, the time it takes to kind of get stuck in between your ears or the, the time it takes getting stuck in between the ears, then I highly suggest you implement at least at the very least this uh, chat GPT. It's been great. It, I save a lot of time with it. When, it. when I have a task that needs it, I use it always. So hope this video was cool. Uh, keep in mind that you should subscribe and turn the notifications on. I got a lot of stuff coming out. So don't forget the challenge starts January 2nd, 2024, and all the registration, all the links are down below. Uh, and I hope this video is valuable in some sense. See you on the next video. Appreciate your time. Talk soon. Bye-bye.